So Uber just can't seem to get a break. No, I mean, this is not the news that you want to get for a newly public company that's already trading 8% below its IPO price. So this dropped in its 10Q, the quarterly filing, and it's not just at the federal level, it's also at the state level. Supposedly some federal or foreign authorities are also looking into it as well. Now we have to see if more details come out about this because right now Uber is saying that it's very difficult to estimate the amount that we could actually see their tax benefits reduced. Now, by no means am I a tax expert, but this is over something called transfer pricing positions. Um, so we'll see what goes on here. They did say that over the next 12 months, we could see these benefits reduced by about 141 million or so. But when you're a company that's already losing over a billion dollars, it's not something you want to hear. At the same time, it's kind of, perhaps an unfortunate time for Uber because some banks just started coverage and recommended buys. And it looked like right. they were going to break after they went down under the, off of their IPO price. Right. So the quiet period finally over. So some of the banks that worked on Uber's IPOs, the sell side's now able to come out and rate these companies. So you have the likes of Morgan Stanley, you have RBC, you have JMP Securities, Barclays, all coming out, initiating a buy on the company. Then this news pops. We haven't seen a huge move in free market trading. We did see a drop about 1% or so. We'll see if this builds, but Uber's already seen a good amount of pain. So you would think that something yeah. good has to come out.